Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to Ella Creative. In today's video, we'll be learning how to make a signature stamp brush, which can be used as a watermark for your art or photography, a signature for your artistic designs, or a good old stamp brush. All right, let's get into the video. We'll start with a blank canvas that is a square size. I'm using one that is 2048 by 2048. Feel free to use a pixel size that you're comfortable with. You can write out your signature like I'll show you here. I'm grabbing the chalk brush and just writing out a signature. You can also draw a logo or draw your watermark. Or you could import a photo. Just make sure that all of the writing and images are black. Here I'll show you guys how you could add a new text and you can type out a signature that way as well. The third option we have is to import a signature photo or file like I'm doing here. Now we'll resize our signature and make sure it fits within our square canvas. We'll head up to the action bar at the top and we'll export our file in a PNG format. There's no need for our background to be transparent, but if it is already, that's fine as well. Now we can open up the brush menu at the top right. Let's head over to the shape editor, click on import and import your photo or file. If you take your two fingers and tap down on the white of the image, this will make it transparent and we're good to go. In the stroke path tab on the left side of the menu, we can go in and increase the spacing of our brush. Next in the properties tab, we can go in and bring up the maximum size of our brush. And then we can also increase the preview. This will increase the size of the image we see when we're looking at the brushes in the brush panel in the app. In the About This Brush tab, we can go in and add all the details, add who it was made, you could put your signature, and then we can title our brush. Here, I'll just title this brush at Ella Creative LLC to keep it nice and neat. And then when we're done in this menu, go ahead and click Done at the top right corner. Now that we're back on our canvas, if we go ahead and tap on our screen, we will see our brush stamped. You can go ahead and change the size, the opacity. You can tap on the mouse and readjust the position and the size. Something I like to do is organize my brushes by either who made them or they're used to me. So feel free to reorganize the placement of where you can find this brush in your brush menu. Now I'll show you how we can really quickly add a signature to an image and this is what I do. This is an image of a girl that I designed. So I'll go in with my stamp brush that we just made, tap my screen and then resize my signature just like that. I hope that you guys have found this tutorial super helpful for learning how to make custom signature stamp brushes in Procreate 5. For a written step-by-step -step process of this, I have my blog linked in the description box below, so feel free to check that out and all of the other resources linked down there. I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up, wrote a comment down below, and shared with your friends and family. I'll see you guys the following Friday for our next art tutorial. Until then, happy sketching. Bye.